She called the cops first. The pigs wouldn't take her case. But I wasn't afraid to take off the white gloves, roll back my sleeves, and get a little dirty. To me, there are no small crimes. Only small-minded investigators trying to compensate for an even smaller set of balls. I should introduce myself. My name is Dickie Sledgehammer. Let's go back to the beginning. Shit, too far back. Let's fast forward. Uh, on second thought, better stick to the present day. So quick. She was trouble. Her legs were longer than the Brooklyn Bridge and twice as sturdy. Her skin was silkier than her oriental robe, and she smelled like a Chinese laundromat. Wait, can I say oriental? I'm not sure that's PC anymore. I don't want to look at your face a whole bunch. What? What? Huh? Uh, the crime scene's getting cold. That's what the cop said. Pigs. I think I'm in love with you. Excuse me? I, I said, uh... I think I'll have an olive juice. It helps me think. Oh, well, please, come in. Ah, <sighs> close one, Diggy. Better stay sharp. So, I was in the shower, and when I came downstairs, I saw that someone had broken in. Sometime between 11 and noon, I think. What's this? Olive juice. Oh, no, no, I don't drink on the job. What exactly did they take? Was it jewelry or kids or underwear or something. No, just some stuff from the fridge. Bread, mustard, ham, lettuce, mayo. What kind of ham? Honey baked, I think. Quality ham. This case just got smoky. But I still wasn't sure I should take the case. Yeah, I'll take the case. Never mind. Guess I'm committed now. There are two steps to solving a crime. Step one, determine the credibility of the witness. Can I trust you, Sunday? I think so. You can never trust a beautiful dame, so step one was useless. Step two, survey the crime scene for clues. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna poke my head around. This was no ordinary criminal. Eating Sunday's meat while she was naked in the shower was a violation of my first rule of dating. And no one should broach a woman's back door without at least knocking, and there's evidence here of forced entry. The half-eaten sandwich and a frightened girl reminded me of prom night, but I didn't have time to walk down memory lane. Sunday was in danger, and I would need to word this delicately. You could have been raped. I'm talking prison stuff. But room handles and bottles. Oh my god. You got any enemies or anything I should know about? Well, I can't think of anyone. I did get into an argument with Tony at the salon yesterday about my highlights. Of course. His mom called him Kenneth, but the rest of us knew him as Ham Sandwich Tony. He was once the city's third worst petty thief, and now the city's worst hairstylist. Apparently, he's back to his old ways. I had my suspect. Hello? Yeah? Are you okay? You kind of just stared off into the distance for a while? Yeah. yeah. I should have this case wrapped up in no time. Yeah, dinner plans or anything? I'll probably just eat with my husband. Did I hear her right? Could it be that this blonde vixen was already sworn to another? I would have to do some complicated detective work to uncover the truth. Are you sure that you're married? Yep. Case closed. Or was it? I may yet find a way into her heart. For now, it's time to see Ham Sandwich Tony. I met a lot of dames in my time, but there's something about Sunday made me want to hang my hat on her rack. She said she was married, but I've heard that line before. A safety mechanism to keep a dame like her from falling for a hard-boiled PI like me. 
She'd rung my bell hard, and my heart ticked away like the second hand on Big Ben. Big Ben? That would have been a good name for my... Oh my god! I am so sorry, kid! Watch where you're going, Dick. Actually, it's Dick E. Cute kid. You wanna smoke? Sure. Yeah, of course. There you go. I shouldn't have given the kid my last cigarette. Gonna have to pick up more. Oh well. Every child deserves a trip to Flavor Country. Hey, you need to be super careful when you're crossing the street, okay? Hey, there's ham sandwich thieves about. Start stopping at stop signs, Dick. It's Dicky. E. Sledgehammer. This wasn't my first time I'd been toe-to-toe -to -toe with a criminal who moonlighted as a highlighter. I always figured that Tony's hair salon had been a way to launder money. Still, questions in the back of my mind were poking me like a rusty spring in a bad mattress. Something didn't smell right, and it wasn't just the dog shit I stepped in on the way here. My mother would have said to be careful, but since she's dead, I don't have to listen to her anymore. You hear that, Mom? I can do whatever I want, and you can't stop me. Sandwich to me. No, no, no. It's turkey on rye. Oh, yeah? Give me a bite. No way. Hmm? Nope. Have a sandwich. Give me another bite. Wait a second. Is that honey baked ham? Honey baked ham? Are you kidding me? Maybe if I had a good day at the track, Yankee Yaz Hunky Ham. Or if it's my birthday, Piggly Pops Perky Hot Ham. But honey baked ham? I can't afford that kind of stuff, Dicky. No, but. Did you steal it? You messing with me, Tony? Where were you from 11 and noon? Diddling, my girl, Cindy. Prove it. Hey, Dicky. <laughs> he was diddling me. Well, trying to, at least. Of course, the doc says he's got a bad heart on account of all that ham he eats. I keep telling him to exercise, but he... Tony had been playing hide the ham with this girl, and she would have said anything to protect him. Since she couldn't be trusted, I needed to get a DNA sample from both of them, as well as a DNA sample from the sandwich, DNA from the fridge, DNA from the bathroom. But DNA tests could take months, and I didn't have that kind of time. I knew Tony would give his best ham to his girl, and I had one more way to find out what he'd been putting in her mouth. I'm gonna need a DNA sample from you. Right here. What? Yeah, because... The investigate... I'm just gonna... Uh -huh. Oh, come on. That's my girl. This can't be legal. Uh -huh. Bob's ham. It was her birthday yesterday. That's my bad. That's on me. I feel pretty rotten. Uh, as one should. <laughs> Mess up the crime scene. I'm gonna need this no, no, no. for evidence. Oh, come on. I'm sure you understand. I'm sorry for the intruder. I was out of leads. I needed help. To catch a criminal, sometimes you need the help of criminals. So I would have to go to the scum of the earth. Literally, the foulest, most crooked, most vile criminals known to man. The LAPD. To what do we owe the pleasure, Dickie? Detective I love? Detective you, I have a case that I can't solve and I need your... Sorry, what was that? I said that I need... <coughs> Still can't hear you, buddy. I need your help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the theft of a woman's tasty meat is a laughing matter to the LAPD, but not to Dickie Sledgehammer. Time to bring out my hard balls. <laughs> Where'd you get these? Well, that's for me to know, and you not to know as much as I know. That looks amazing in this photo. Oh. 
can we keep this one? No, it's a great photo. Because you blackmail, you guys should be upset about this. I'm blackmailing you right now. This is black. This is blackmail. This is what blackmail looks like. Oh, uh. show anybody you want. Everybody knows we're together. Yeah. Seriously? They allow couples to be partners? <laughs> Only the LAPD. Yeah, well, it works for us. God, I'm same sex couples, no less. Wait. You, you think, think she's a, a woman? Man? You, you think, think I'm, I'm a, man? a woman? What did you say? What right are you there? calling her? What did you say? I'm say it. What? Right now. In three. One, two, three. What? Man. Ma man. Man. Or, or man. Man. Ma'am. Ma Who are you referring to? Are you not a guy? No. I'm a woman. Yeah. All woman. She's got bigger biceps than I do. What? So the B and E around noon that you guys investigated. What's going on there? Stolen lettuce and the bread. Yeah, bread was possibly toasted. Be sure to add that to the report. All right. Open and shut case. Hot shot. Husband comes home from work during his lunch break. Doesn't tell his wife. Pig. Pig. So, exactly. It was the husband. That close to solving it myself that time. Really appreciate your help. As every other time, you guys have helped. <laughs> Detective Lala. Detective you. Yeah. <clears throat> Very firm handshake. Okay, you have three seconds. I'll just get out of here. Get out of here. Great. Use these for blackmail in the future, though. Uh, they're not blackmail photos. Are you sure? Not 100%. You should probably call him and find out. Okay. Jack? Hi. No, I'm fine. Did you come home at lunch? Where were your keys? Okay, I'll see you soon. So, case closed. Case closed. Another case in the books. Another dame would be safe to shower with her meat untouched. I could tell that by putting this mystery to rest, she'd gone weak in the knees. And now was my time to make a move. Hey babe, sorry about the sandwich plate. I was gonna throw it in the dishwasher. What the hell? Oh god! No! Dickie, come closer. <laughs> saw Sunday Stone again, mainly because of her being dead and all. She was just a spark without enough fuel to become a fire. Her meat had gone sour and left me with an unsatisfied hunger. Speaking of hunger, I could really go for a honey-baked ham sandwich right about now. But hold the meal. I need to watch my cholesterol. What the hell is cholesterol anyway? So many mysteries, so little time. Yeah, I think I'll take this sandwich to go. Hard to hold an appetite with a grown man crying in front of you. Detectives I love and you are gonna give me a lot of shit for this one. <laughs>